Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, just thank you for the, the support. Uh, being able to, you know, for us, for us to, you know, look at our different situations that we're in. Being able to step back and look at the bigger picture on the situations that you're in and being able to heal throughout that crazy process even though it might be a dark place that you're in but knowing there's always a reason for those situations to happen for you to be able to see the bigger picture so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you can drop a line even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just telling me about your impact to give and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction, as well as you feel like the video has been very informative to you or even gave you good vibes that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really dark times right now and need confirmation and validation towards you know their life especially on the journey, please go ahead and share them while you're at it. Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support. It is all greatly appreciated, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Today, my um, meditation music I'm listening to is so peaceful as well. They got beautiful pictures in the video. It's called 528 Hertz Music of, for the Soul, Find Inner Peace, light music for tranquility self-healing and harmony and i will post that link in the description box below i must be on a good subject because these lights been flashing i already had to do, uh, redo this video already because the lights kept flashing it was distracting to me um but my video today is about twin flame 101 hey okas uh never try to control your situation let god and universe work in your favor it is so true you know I've been in situations where I felt like I had to try to control it because I felt some type of way about my situation and it's just like now I try to sit back and just allow universe and God to take the work and that's what we need to do you know when you're in situations where you're in a karmatic uh, karmic cycle to where you feel like you cannot get out of there's always a big reason for that you know and there's sometimes we feel like we're stagnant we're stuck but there's a reason behind that situation it's just like when you cannot control it when you've been in a situation where you always try to control the outcome of situations you already try to control about how people uh, did things number one you can allow yourself the only thing you should be able to control is how you respond to certain situations and I have to tell my dad, myself that step back allow let nature take its course you know when things are happening you know when you put that boundary up especially when it comes to narcissistic people you have to put that boundary up do not allow the the things that they try to press against you get to you you know people will do things to try to violate you in any kind of way you know um but you have to put that boundary up like i'm not going to allow myself to stoop to their level you know, don't be trying to play tit for tat. I used to do that. <laughs> I used to really, really do that. I'm like, oh, you want to do this to me? Oh, okay, I'm going to do that to you. Don't do that because that makes you no better than the person that is causing, the, you know, the darkness, uh, dark energy in your life. Allow yourself to keep bettering yourself each and every day. Seeing the beautiful things that are heading towards your way. Don't allow yourself to lose focus because somebody else wants to act childish. Somebody else wants to be narcissistic. You, you know, sometimes it's like you have to keep telling the people, hey, I ain't trying to argue with you. Hey, <laughs> you do what you do. Hey, you know, you have to really, you know, really put them boundaries up, you know, because it's, it's bad when you have to deal with karmatic cycle. Karmic, I don't know why I keep on saying that, karmatic cycles. Karmic cycles, there are certain situations you have to get out of, but you should never rush that process. Even though it might be stressful, you have to really step back and see the bigger picture. Allowing yourself to set free emotionally, mentally, sexually, financially, whatever you got to do to let go let go allow god and universe to work in your favor we do we really do have to do that because it's like with my situation the way my stuff is set up right now i have to let god and universe do that because it's just like there are certain times i get upset 
when things happen the way they happen and I said you know what you can't allow yourself to get upset about situations like that no more I said when we feel like oh they're getting away with this they're gonna trust and believe God and the universe is not allowing them to get away with anything they might be going through it and they be getting it hit every direction they do and plus you know when they try to do things and thinking they're doing it and you don't know about it just because you don't know about it don't mean God and the universe don't see that so let them continue to do them because karma gonna get them in the worst kind of way <laughs> you just keep praying for them people you have to and I have to pray for my situation I gotta pray you know because I always used to get mad like how can they get away with doing these things to me how are they gonna you know pray for me not to do you know the things that I want to make me happy in life you can never let nobody take keys to your happiness don't allow somebody to have keys to your freedom just because the fact is you're in a certain situation for that that short period of time and that's how you have to keep telling yourself I'm not gonna be in this situation for long you have to really tell yourself that regardless on what they pray for you on because God's gonna open doors for you that no person is not gonna get with shit no matter how much they pray on it no matter how much they say you know these are gonna happen even though it's messed up when people can do that and I used to get really upset about that because it's like God you know I want to get out of certain situations why are you allow them to pray on this mess on me and I can't do it that's because I, you know, I let that energy come up and say, you know what, they're gonna pray against me. You have to sit up here and keep focusing on what you're aiming towards. Don't a lot, don't sit up here and worry about what other people are praying on, because when they pray on stuff on you, they don't know that they're cutting your blessings short. When people pray on you for you not to get the blessings in your life, they don't know they're banishing their, you know, their blessings. It's like, say, you see somebody get a brand new car, one of your friends get a brand new car, and you're hating. Low-key hating because they got their brand new car. Knowing this is like the sign to tell you, oh, the, you know, the car that you've been wanting, you about to get blessed with that. So when you see other people having blessings like that around you, allow yourself to congratulate them because it's like when you congratulate them, it's like you congratulating yourself like that was you that had that. So you be happy. I mean, there are so many people that are getting blessings around me and I'm so happy for them. I really am. Even if it's somebody I can't stand, I'm going to still be happy for you. You know, I've had people that used to do things like, oh, if they heard me say, oh, you know, I had a girl at my job where I wanted this this certain car that I want. It was my dream car. And just and she so-called called herself my friend. She went back and got the same kind of car I said I wanted to get just because of the fact that she had to do it. But it's just the fact is she did that. And now it's like the fact that she did that and all of a sudden her whole check go to that daggone car. I was like, yeah, that's nice. But I don't want that car, no. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't even, I wasn't even low-key mad at it. But I see, I was recognizing, I was peeping game on what she did. So she was like, oh, I was able to get it. You weren't. But now the heifer broke. Okay? So I was just like, you go ahead, baby. Because that wasn't, uh, uh, I want to make sure if I can get that, I can be able to afford it. But it ain't going to stop the rest of my flow. So it's just like when you see people that do that, they try to, you know, make your life a living hell. They're trying to make, baby, don't do that because they're making themselves a living hell anyway. You know, anybody who struggles to get up in the morning can't see, stay in the person that they, you know, are in the mirror. You know, those are personal issues when people low-key hate on you. Especially if, you know, they you have good news and you can just, just see the hate in their face. Keep it moving. Just keep it moving. Congratulate them if you see somebody doing something. Never stop your flow on what you're doing. And it's just the fact is don't never control the outcome. Don't control how people do things. Just control how you respond and how you act towards the situation they do to you. And trust and believe. When there's people out here doing stuff like that, that's why I have to tell myself with my situation. Don't worry about that. God ain't going to allow stuff to go on too long. Regardless on what people decide on what your happiness is, they can't decide that. They're not God. <laughs> if it wasn't supposed to be meant for you, you would have never known about it in the first place. So you have to keep on telling yourself that these things. You have to give yourself those affirmations towards, oh, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get that. No matter what people think I deserve to have in my life, I'm going to get this. And I said, you know, and the thing that aggravates me with folks, don't be trying to sit up here and hate on somebody because they got something in their life. That's just like you wouldn't want somebody to do that to you. And it's just the fact is when they think about that and they're trying to stop somebody else's blessing, they don't realize that they're stopping theirs in the process as well. So it's just like everybody can finish off and 
in the uh, finish line together. Everybody has their own journey that they're working towards. Everybody has got their their levels of perception on things that they want to look at. But we are all healing from something. We are all healing from some kind of abuse. We're all healing, healing from some kind of insecurity, trauma, setbacks, you know, mistakes that we have all been through. But keep working on you. Don't control the outcome of other people. Allow yourself to keep doing on you. Keep focusing on the things that you're trying to have in your life. And when you pray for those people that are trying to low-key hurt you or purposely do something in your face, pray for them. Just pray for them. <laughs> That's all you got to do is just pray for them. And you'll be amazed how God and universe works in your favor for them. Because the people that try to bring you down, I've been seeing a lot of posts lately. A lot of posts lately. Don't worry about what people say behind your back. Because the main people that talked about you behind your back, God's going to bless you right in front of them. Right in front of them. And it's just like they ain't going to be able to say nothing. So you keep doing that. Sometimes you got to be quiet and let God show them, okay? So you do what you got to do. Keep focused. Don't worry about what those folks do. Don't control the situation. Let universe and God work on them while you're working on yourself. And you will see the blessing out of that big picture. So I hope you were able to... Re uh, recognize recognize relate to that resonate with it whatever <laughs> and my post notification goes out to lisa williams and michaela uh michaela cuestas i hope that's uh i hope i pronounced the last name right but much love to y'all every i hope y'all have a blessed safe weekend be responsible for everything you do know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days at least i know i do i'm praying for better days and y'all to be safe send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can you know because you know your your positive words can help somebody a long way so um i hope y'all have a blessed safe weekend like and subscribe give it a thumbs up share and I will see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wild.